In a surprising turn of events, former UK pleader Nigel Farage has signed up for this year's Emma Celebrity. Get me out of here. The 59-year-old was the first to land in Australia and join a lineup of celebrities in the jungle as he takes on the challenge of the popular ITV reality show. Hosted as usual by Ad McPartlin and Declan Donnelly, viewers are sure to tune in to see how Farage will fare in the jungle. Farage is no stranger to controversy, having spent 20 years campaigning for the UK's withdrawal from the European Union. Despite being unsuccessful in his attempts to win a parliamentary seat seven times, he is widely regarded as the political figure who played a significant role in pushing forward the UK's decision to leave the EU. Now set to appear on our screens every night for the next three weeks, the move will likely raise eyebrows and see him voted in for grueling challenges. But it is certainly a trend for disliked politicians as after all, it was only last year that former Health Secretary Matt Hancock faced severe backlash for appearing on the show. While he may be best known for his political career, Fridge's personal life may be a mystery to many. So, let's take a closer look at the controversial personal life of the man himself. Farage has been married twice, and it is his second marriage to German-born Kirsten Mayer that has been the subject of much speculation. Despite still being married, reports suggest that Farage and Mayer have been living separate lives for years. Farage reportedly moved out of his family home in Kent quite some time ago. In 2017, Rumors emerged the politician was sharing a house in London with a French woman politician, Laura Ferrari, who was 15 years his junior. While Farage denied any difficulties in his marriage to Kirsten in a magazine interview in January of that year, his wife confirmed the reports in a statement released to the Press Association. She stated they had been living separate lives for some years and that this was a situation that suited everyone involved. In the statement, she said, My husband and I have lived separate lives for some years and he moved out of the family home a while ago. This is a situation that suits everyone and is not news to any of the people involved. Lore had reportedly been living in the former UK pleader's house in Chelsea for over a week and Farage said he was helping her out because she needed accommodation and had nowhere else to stay. He said at the time, she is someone I have worked with and known well for a long time who wanted somewhere to stay for a week that wouldn't cost her any money. It's a working relationship. Aside from his tumultuous living arrangements, Farage also confessed to being a challenging partner in an interview with Piers Morgan before his wife Kirsten revealed they had been living separate lives for years. He said, being married to me is very difficult. Even before I entered politics, it was tough and complicated. While I can handle the negative attention, it has affected those around me, and there is an unpleasant side to it. However, he acknowledged his mistakes and said, to be honest, my complete devotion to UKIP. I place it above everything else. It may sound terrible, but that was my priority. He added, I wouldn't describe my marriage as on the rocks. It could have easily gone, given how really rough it's been and how unpleasant it's been. The thing people don't realize is that some of the behavior that we've had to endure is very tough. In addition to leaving his family home and claiming he is a difficult husband, further speculation emerged in the same year that he had lied about a 12-year affair to save Brexit. Annabelle Fuller the former UK pleader's ex-lover, said she was told to keep their relationship secret at all costs and accused him of hypocrisy. 
According to Ms. Fuller, a former speechwriter and trusted advisor to the party, she had a sexual relationship with Mr. Farage from 2004 to October 2016. It was claimed Mr. Farage wrote her a secret love letter in which he declared his devotion to her with heart and body, and she alleged that the affair triggered depression, self-harm, and suicide attempts. She said, Nigel and I both knew we had to keep quiet to save Brexit. We are both liars and hypocrites but the reason I had to lie throughout the years was that I didn't want UKIP or the cause we were fighting for to be damaged. Fuller, who was 17 years younger than Farage, claimed there were sexual encounters in MEP offices in the European Parliament that were last in 2016. She described how mental turmoil drove her to life-threatening self-harm, before a successfully course of therapy. Although Fuller spoke out about the allegations, Farage declined to confirm or deny the affair and has yet to speak up. If you're struggling and need to talk, the Samaritans operate a free helpline open 24-7 on 116-123. Alternatively, you can email joe at samaritans.org or visit their site to find your local branch. Thank you.